In this demonstration, I'm going to go over the design of the Premier Products database you'll be using in class. Starting here with the rep table. This table holds information about our sales reps, the employees. They have a unique identifying number called rep num. There's a last name, a first name, their street, city, state, zip, what their commission is, and the rate of that commission. Next is our customer table. Customers have a rep, and that is tied to the rep table through the rep num foreign key. They have a unique identifier called customer num. That's their unique identifying name. Their customer name, a street, city, state, zip, balance on their account, and their credit limit. Now the customers are related to orders. Customers make orders. And we get that relation through the customer number in the orders table. Orders has a unique identifier called order number and an order date. Orders have line items. There, you can buy multiple things on one order. So we have an order line here that is related to orders through the order num. And it's also related to parts through the part num. And an order number and a part number together make a unique record within this table. In that table, we have our number ordered, how many were ordered on that particular order, and what was the price they paid for that in our part table. We have a unique identifier for each part, which is the part number. It has a description. How many do we have on hand? The class, what type of part is it? The warehouse that it was stored in, and the price that we paid to get that. And that is the design of the Premier Products database.